Welcome back Jebel Ali. In this tutorial I am going to add a score to my quiz game. Now I've created three questions. Hopefully you've created more, but I've just created three if-else questions. Okay? It doesn't matter if you've just got if questions, it doesn't matter if you've got a mixture of if and if and else questions, as long as you've got questions. Okay? So now I'm going to show you a new thing here to show you how to see your scratch game in full screen. Now the way you do that, you move your mouse and you tap here with the four arrows and that will put your scratch game in full screen and then as before you press the green flag and it asks you what your name is. I'm going to answer my name, it's Dr. Hall. I click on the tick, it's going to ask me, hello Mr. Hall and then it's going to say what is 2 plus 2? So I'm going to type in 4, click on the tick Correct, well done, still happy. I'm going to get the next one wrong. I'm going to say three times four is 10 or 19. Oh dear, the answer is wrong. So she's still unhappy. So six sixes are 36. Don't click on my tick. Ah, okay, now I've got a problem there. What have I done wrong? Yep, I've missed my happy Face. So basically, you need to remember in your looks to change when the character gets it right to make sure the costume is switched to happy each time. So I'm going to put switch to happy for each time I get it wrong. Because if you got it wrong in the previous lesson and uh, previous question, and you get it right, it doesn't change back to happy. So it's something you've got to remember. So I go to looks and make sure when I get it right, I always switch to happy. Okay, now adding a score. Okay, now we're going to do something new here. We've got a variable for answer. So each time you type an answer and it stores that number in, or the answer in the variable answer. Now we're going to create a new variable, okay, to store our score. So we're going over to variables, which is blocks down here. So the orange circle here is variables. So click on there. And it wants you here to create a variable. Okay, so we need to click on make a variable. Okay, and it will say new variable name. And we're going to type simply in there the word score. Okay, and just keep it selected for all sprites. And then click on OK. And you'll see immediately you get a variable appear at the top of the screen. And it says score. And it's set to zero at the beginning. OK. So there's your answer variable in blue. And that is for when you type in an answer. And this one is called score. OK. Let's have a look. So what we need to do is every time we get a question correct, we're going to add one to the score. Okay, so what we do here, we're going to say change my variable by one. Okay, not set my variable at this point, we want change my variable by one. I'm just going to drag that and place that onto the palette area here. I've not put it inside anywhere yet because the first thing I need to do is this should say the word score. Okay, at the moment it says my variable. So you click on the drop down list and choose score. And that's what you named it. So that will change score by one. Now, where do you think you need to put that? If you said inside the if part here of your if else statement, you are correct. So you need it at the point you get your question right. So you drag and drop. Okay, now if for some reason you got it in the wrong place, now that's a little bit tricky, you need to drag the block out and take this block in and put it back and there you get your block again. So, But it was in the right place, so that's just to show you how to remove it. I'm going to take my block and place it here. So at that point, I get a point if I get it right. Now I need to do that for every time I get it correct. So every time it goes inside the if. So again, I drag my set variable, set my variable, I change it to 
score. No, see I've got the wrong block here, haven't I? That's not set score. You want change my variable. So drag change my variable and I change it to score. I'm changing it by one because you don't put two in here because I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, some people might think you need to put two because you've got the second question correct. But you might have got the, sec the first question wrong. So if you change your score by two, you would still have two points, but you've only answered one question right. So this is what this is doing. It's just changing score by one. So it's really just adding one to the variable score. Okay. So if you got the first one right, it would not add a one. If you got the second one right, it would add a one, so you would only get one point. Now I'll do the same for my third question. I'm going to change my variable by one and put that inside my if statement. Now let's try that. Now when I press the green flag, oh, my score's one already. Okay, we'll have a look at that in a minute. Let's type my name in. I don't know why it is. Maybe because I dragged that wrong block. So I click on the tick. Hello, Mr. Hall. It's going to ask me the question, what is 2 plus 2? I'm going to type in 4. Can you see? I get the question right. I get one point. What is 3 times 4? 12. I tap on here. I get the question right. I get three points. 6 times 6 is 36. Now, you see, I got four points. I think because I dragged that change variable to one, I got an extra point there. Now, watch this. I want you to tell me what happens when I press the green flag. So my game starts again, but I've still got, more, I've still got points. Okay, now looking at these blocks here, what do you think I need to do at the start of the game? If you said set my score to zero, you are correct. Correct. That is why we use the set variable. This is called initiating a variable and we need to set our score to zero at the very beginning of the game. So each time you start a new game, score is set to zero. So when I press the green flag, my score is set to zero. Ask me what my name is. Mr. Hall. I click on the tick, puts my Mr. Hall variable in to the variable answer, asks me my first question, 2 plus 2 is 4, and then I click on the tick to answer, and I get my one point. And then I'm going to stop there and press my green flag. I'm going to stop and then start again, and you'll notice my score is set to 0. Okay, so let's just have a look at that. So we're going to add a variable. So what I did here... I went to my variables and I made a variable and I called it score. Okay, and that created my new variable score. And then each time I got a question right, I used my change my variable. I changed it to score and I made sure it was one. But you can add two points if you want, but I'm going to add one point each time I get one right. And I placed that inside every time inside my if. If you put it inside your else, you would get a point for getting it wrong and you probably don't want that. Okay, and that is how you add a variable and how you display the score on the screen. Try that and I look forward to seeing the results from your hard work and your adding variables in the next lesson. Take care and see you soon.